Hey everyone and welcome to this GIMP tutorial. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to make fancy 3D text in GIMP. Um, it's a free image manipulation program. The link to download it, it is 100% free. The link to download it is in the description in case you don't have it already. So, um, it's kind of like an alternate to Photoshop, um, but this one is free. So, um, this is what it, it will look like once you open it up. And if you go to File, New, you can. This is your canvas size or your image size. You can really have this to whatever you want. I'm just gonna have it. This is the size of a thumbnail, so I'm just gonna set it as this. Okay, your uh, that will not be that color when you open it. So, anyways, um, make sure that's black for now at least. Um, so you're just gonna. This is your text tool. Um, just click that and then click on the canvas and you can set the text size whatever you want. Right now I have it at 300. Um, I have it as not the right color as I want. Um, cancel. I was using this earlier and... Why did that happen? Okay, so I got my text working. It was just something that I did earlier that I think I messed up, but that of course will not happen to you. So you can just type text. Um, and I'm just gonna move it to the middle. I'm gonna scale it a little bit to make it a bit bigger. All right. So now um, you have your text. Um, to make it a little fancy, you're gonna want to right click the layer that your text is on. This is an extra layer that I don't need. All right. Um, and then you're just gonna right click it and then go down and you'll see alpha to selection click that that's gonna select it now you can click on your blend tool it's right here um, it's also it's basically just a gradient now this is where you can choose the color that you want to use so you can set your foreground color and all that I'm gonna have a dark green probably use this for the thumbnail and I don't really like that green There we go. So just drag from the top to the bottom. It's only going to select the selection, which is your text. Now what you're going to want to do, once you have your gradient um, all put together, you're going to want to go to, ah, you're going to want to go to select and then grow. And you can grow by whatever number you want it to be. It's just what's going to grow the selection by pixels. Um, you can set it as inches, millimeters, points, all all that, feet, yards, I'm not even sure how that's going to work. But this is as pixels, and I'm going to set it by 6, have it grow by 6 pixels. Um, and I'll show you what that means in just a second. But now, with this, this is what's going to add a border. You're going to want to make sure you make a new layer, and you can name this a border. I'm just going to do that so you guys can, it's so it's more organized so you guys can see. I'm going to make the border black and take the um, the bucket fill tool and you can click anywhere and it'll uh, fill it in you can just move this down so that adds a border I don't think gradient doesn't look too good but I'm not really going to worry about that so now you're going to want to merge your original text with your border you can right click it and then hit merge down or I think it has it down here I don't know now um, it's still selected so you want to get rid of that go back to select and then hit none now um, you merged your text with your border you're going to want to um, add you're going to actually want to duplicate that layer so it has it down here where you can click it or you can right click it and then hit duplicate layer so now that you've done that um, you're going to want to go to filters and then you're going to want to go to blur and motion blur they have this regular blur Gaussian blur pixelized you're going to hit motion blur with this, um, it this is where you customize your options or whatever. Um, you're gonna want you're gonna want to have it set. This is this is just your preview, and you can like move it around and everything. So you're gonna make sure it's at this is linear. You're gonna want to have it at zoom, um, and then if you have blur outwards, it's gonna like go outside the text. Kind of like you see that when I uncheck it, it's gonna I don't know. It's hard to explain. Um, and then your length, um, like 33, I guess, 30, and then hit OK. And it's going to go ahead and load up.
Genau. Alright. Uh, so you can already tell it's kind of looking 3D. Kind of. It's still blurry. I know that. This is not what the end is going to look like. I'm not too sure why the T didn't get any of that, but whatever. This is just like the basic. So now what you're going to want to do over in your layers, um, you have, you made a copy. So you're going to want these eyes depends on whether or not it's visible. So that's how it actually, that's how it really looks. This is, you just blurred it. So that's how it looks, but don't worry. That's fine. You're going to want to click the eye, which makes that invisible and get rid of the background. So now all you have is your blurred text. You're going to want to duplicate that a whole bunch of times. However much, however many times you want. You can just do it a million times. Alright, then you want to right click one. Actually, I don't want that that many times. Let me just undo that a little. Oh, uh, never mind. It's kind of, I can't really do it now. <laughs> so now you're going to uh, right click any one of them. And then you'll see what um, it says merge visible layers. So that's going to merge all the visible ones. So if you didn't uh, click the eye on the original text or the background, it would merge that with it. So you, that's why you click the eye so it's not visible anymore. What? Click the wrong thing, I guess. Right click, merge visible layers. Merge. Alright, so now that it's merged, you can make these visible again. And that's how you have your 3D text. It's really easy. I kind of like how it looks this way. Um, you can merge it down if you want, but this is the 3D text. That's how it turns out. Um, you can actually, let me see. Now with this, you can, that's really it. You can change how it looks. Um, you can adjust the brightness. I think if you but yeah that's really it that's how you make 3d text in GIMP if you have any other questions or if you want me to make a GIMP tutorial or it doesn't even have to be on GIMP but if you want me to make any other tutorial uh, just comment if this helps you out don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time